Hi folks, it's uh, Chet from uh, Tag along with Chet. Um, I um, I'm about to show you and there will be no audio in it because uh, when I did take this uh, I, uh, apparently I had the mic turned off so uh, anyway I'll explain to you now what I've done. I have installed a solar powered trickle charger on my aircraft so because I'm like uh, at least a hundred feet away from a power source uh, I um, have elected to go this route because the the audio or rather the uh, the electrical uh, usage in my aircraft when it sits here let's say for a month at a time uh, when the weather is bad and it's snowy and uh, cold while well, that battery takes a real beating uh, from uh, the cold and also from the fact that it's uh, there is a bit of power that's being used mainly from the clock and then I've got the little black box uh, it's uh, it's it's a little computer and it uh, takes all the data from my uh, oil temperature exhaust temperature and so forth and so it's got a memory that has to stay uh, uh, current and so forth and it has to be charged up every once in a while so uh, it's like a computer it does need power you just can't leave it shut off so anyway uh, that uses it and also I have a little electric uh, or there's a battery uh, cigarette lighter which is also being used uh, for uh, various things so uh, there, there's about three things in the aircraft that I use uh, when it's just sitting there that are utilizing power so obviously at some point in time cold battery uh, not being used um, equates to a dead battery by the time you want to turn over that engine anyway it's been really good uh, i've had it in there now for about a week and uh, i i've really uh, uh i'm really happy with the uh, with the outcome it uh, has overcharge protection in other words it, 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 it won't overcharge your battery it only puts out two and a half watts at optimum at peak power so when you got good sunlight it puts out that two and a half watts uh, into your battery if it needs it if it doesn't it, uh, it doesn't it just shuts off but uh, there's also an inline fuse uh, on the hot side uh, and uh, it'll uh, if it if there is some issue with the battery or something like that it just blows the fuse and uh, no more power goes into it uh, anyway um, I'm going to show you how I've done it okay so this is what it looks like from the uh, from the outside I've got these uh, bungee cords uh, attached to the solar panel which is right up here so all that fits really nice it just sits on the outside by the way this is a Coleman and it's water uh, weatherproof so you can have it out sitting outside anyway this just happened to work out real nice for me because I've got these uh, bungee cords uh, right hooked up to the eyelid here so that that's uh, kind of worked out real nicely for me I bought these over at the dollar store as well <clears throat> Okay, so uh, if you go to the other side here, uh, here's the power plug uh, that comes out of the uh, solar panel. And it just runs alongside here. I've got it kind of wrapped around this other bungee cord, which again is just hooked into that eyelet down here. This just runs around here and it just pops in underneath the door here through the door frame, uh, right in an area where it's uh, nice and uh, I've got uh, quite a bit of uh, insulation and uh, rather a rubber in there so it uh, just lays in there and then of course that goes into the uh, into the uh, battery uh, box area and we'll show that to you in a sec here after I open it up okay here you can see the wire as it comes uh, from the outside to the inside of the aircraft and this whole seat assembly in the back end out there that all lifts up the uh, wing uh, spar is uh, right underneath that and uh, here I'm pointing out the uh, connection and that's where I disconnect it from the uh, out of the battery now uh, there you go again that's the whole uh, the what I'm pointing out there is the uh, wing spar and uh, that whole seat assembly lifts right up towards the back and you'll see that in a minute there uh, here again or uh, here you'll see the uh, the uh, the connection as it goes into the battery uh, and uh, what I'm doing now is I'm going to remove the um, top of the battery compartment and I'll expose the battery and you can see what it looks like inside it's a gill battery I'm not happy with the gill battery I think I'll probably end up buying another one uh, not the gill there's a better model out but they're about a hundred bucks more 
there is the uh, negative post <clears throat> where I've got the negative uh, uh, part of the uh, connection hooked up to and then you have the positive post out here and I still have to do a little bit of work on here to make it look a little neater there is a rubber grommet there that has to be replaced uh, this is still a little bit messy out there but that'll all be fixed up uh, on the uh, uh, later uh, section you'll see a video out there and that's how I've got it laying now um, I'm uh, showing you now the uh, actual connection and that's where basically how I'm going to connect it and when I take it out I just unplug it from there and it'll lay in between those uh, bolt heads out there so it won't be pinched off I've got it redone out here now where it's actually a little bit more neat and I've got it tie wrapped a little bit more secure and as you can see I was using the nose wheel tow bar there to uh, support the uh, whole seat assembly holding it up. It comes in pretty handy and uh, the upholstery is now back to where it should be so it's covering up all the wiring and so forth. So anyway uh, that's about it from the inside folks uh, so um, we'll take it from there. Uh, thanks for watching folks and um, uh, if it works uh, for me uh, probably works for you too so and uh, just to let you know I bought it from Canadian Tire uh, Quite a few months ago a couple of months ago and uh, i think it was 13 15 bucks and there is also another vlog uh, that i've done which i took inside uh telling you what i was going to do with it and it shows you all the connections and uh, what what came uh, with the uh, uh the actual um solar panel so um you can look at that vlog i can't recall which one it is but um, it's uh, got to do a solar panel it's probably vlog 70 i don't know maybe in the sick i i don't know anyway take a look it's back in there somewhere and uh it's uh, to do with uh uh the uh, battery solar powered uh kit that i bought so anyway gotta go for coffee now so we'll talk to you later Bye bye